to put on a little makeup. <laughs> hey, yo, it's your girl Jackie J, and you're listening to Natch Butte, the only podcast about all things makeup, skincare, and looking snatch. <laughs> now, of course, I was kidding earlier when I said grab a brush. I know you can't just do that, because we're living in a nuclear apocalyptic hell, honey. I don't have to tell you that nine months ago, on March 3rd, 2018, North Korea dropped a bomb on us. But just because we're living in the fallout doesn't mean you shouldn't keep up with eyelash trends, okay, honey? As default president Polly Shore said, we gotta get back to our lives, buddy. And even though we don't know why he was 100th in line for commander-in-chief, he's right. So I'm back to hosting my beauty podcast, and strangely, I'm somehow still sponsored by BioClarity. Now, BioClarity is your number one defense against acne. And then, also, weirdly, it turns out your number one defense against coyotes, who are now the top predator on Earth. <laughs> so just apply BioClarity in the morning and evening to get rid of those unsightly pimples, and also get it right in the coyote's eye. It's the only way to kill him. It's the only way to kill him. <laughs> Now, a lot of y'all said to me, Jackie, are you still vegan? I'm like, yes, honey, I'm still vegan, okay? But I can also participate in our interspecies war against the coyotes. Don't get on me. I'm not a hypocrite. You do what you can, all right? I just don't want to eat chicken nuggets, and I don't want makeup to be tested on bunnies' eyes. Is that too much to ask? <sighs> By the way, it was a girl, Jackie J, that told you dog stomachs are stronger. They're gonna survive shit. If you followed me on IG, you know my dog Chooch told me that. Now, today's guest was gonna be Constance Wu from Fresh Off the Boat, but she could not make it. I've heard that possibly she melted. I don't know. Love you, Constance, if you're still out there. So I'll just be taking listener questions. First one. Dear Jackie, I've heard the radioactive sludge that flows where the Pacific Ocean once was can be used as a BB cream. <laughs> Do you know if it's safe? Thanks, honey. Heart Mallory from Orange County. Oh, and she says, P.S. If anyone else heard this, she's been wandering around Orange County alone uh, for months. <laughs> if you're anywhere between San Diego and L.A., please find her. She's so alone. She's so very alone. <laughs> the question and here's the thing about the radioactive sludge that I know people are crazy for the handful of women who continue to live love that radioactive sludge <laughs> now here's a pro it's SPF 1000 and you know I'm all about that SPF life SPF 1000 literally pushes the Sun away <laughs> on the other hand it's known to take two to three layers off your skin <laughs> now that can be a positive as well because of all the toxins that we've absorbed after the nuclear fallout and using Clarisil in the 90s. <laughs> I told you, it's full of parabens. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, next week we will be trying out some Urban Decay. And of course, that's not the makeup brand Urban Decay, but some radioactive black goo that I scraped off a curb. It used to be a pink berry. <laughs> Until then, duck and cover and keep your fringe fresh. <laughs>